like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of the ball playing, you know, bird of magic or something. Y'all, guess who's heading out to Mexico? I am super stoked for today's race, guys. So before we head out to race, we actually got one thing we gotta do. So first we gotta cover that, and then we gotta cover all this, and then we're gonna need this. One's gonna go in the trunk, and the other one's gonna go in here. And now we can finally head out, guys. When you're out there driving, make sure you have your seatbelt. Safety first. All right, let's do a quick pull. Oh. Oh boy, that felt great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this car definitely feels a lot slower than the GT500. It's literally day and night difference. Anybody could feel the difference when you're actually in the car. The only way I can show you guys the difference is race the two cars. And that's exactly what we're gonna do very, very soon. And we made it to the tire shop, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're gonna get rid of these horrible tires that should have never been on there in the first place. And we're gonna be throwing these 315 3520 Nittos NT55R. And I do believe these are the best tires you can get for a stock 20 inch wheel. I know Mickey Thompson makes a nice drag radio, but they don't make them in a 315. So your best bet is either going with these or the proxies, the same proxies that I have on my Mustang. Those are 325s. Those are nice too, but I already had these at home. So I just threw them on. Well, not yet. And we are all done. Look at those boys. Look how wide they sit. Nope, and that's it. Time to bounce. So let's put the car in custom mode and do a 40 roll. All right. Okay, that spun a little bit, but I haven't used these tires in like 10 years, so you gotta break them in a little bit. They're brand new tires. They were on my old Charger Red Eye, but I barely drove them. I think they have like, I don't know, 30, 40 miles on them, so they're fairly new. So let's try a 60 roll. So off the 60, it did not spin whatsoever, but now, we're gonna go home, drop these tires at home, and then head out to the race. Now let's drop these home. All right, guys, so now we can finally head out to the race. I'm running super, super late, but I had to throw these tires on, otherwise we wouldn't have not been able to catch traction. So we got both of the cars here. Here we have the 2022 CTS 5V Blackwing. This thing has 668 horsepower. It has the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with the 1.7 liter super supercharger it weighs about 4100 pounds it also has the 10 speed automatic that you could find in the camaro zl1 and also the mustangs so has a really good transmission and it doesn't weigh that much believe it or not 4100 pounds for this huge sedan isn't that much and then here on the other hand we have the 2022 wide body charger hellcat this thing has 717 horsepower but it weighs 4500 pounds so it has about 400 pounds over the cts5 also has an eight speed automatic i do think the 10 speed is a little bit better than the a speed but overall they're both really good transmissions so both of the cars are supercharged but this one is a 2.4 liter and that is a 1.7 so they both have 6.2 liter supercharged v8 but this has a way bigger blower than that one and as far as tires i have the nittos 
These are the NT55Rs. These are 315 by 35 by 20. And then the Blackwing has the Pilot Sport 4 S's. These are 305 by 35 by 19. I'm really not sure why the Blackwings came with 19 inch wheels. It makes it a lot harder to find good tires for them because the 20s are just so much more popular and a lot easier to find tires for. So since these are two of the fastest sedans in the world, it was only right to put them up against each other and see who is truly faster. The Hellcat has more horsepower, but the the Blackwing is a lot lighter. The Hellcat has about 55 more horsepower. Blackwing is 400 pounds lighter. Power to weight ratio, the V has it, but anything can happen in a race. So let me know who do you guys got winning this, the V or the Hellcat? So we did two runs and then the CT5 owner said there might have been a cop. So we're gonna get off the highway. So here's what happened. I was racing just fine and then every time this Hellcat shifts, I just fall behind. It's so weird. I don't know why this transmission is slowing me down. That was good racing. That was crazy. That was good. <laughs> hey, I didn't realize, and that's kind of stupid of me not to realize because I'm a Hellcat owner, mm -hmm. that these have crazy top end. Yeah. Like, I'm going, you're catching up, passing me, and then as we keep going, this car is shining up top and like keeps going. Like, you real quick. Yeah. it is crazy, yeah, but, is crazy. but I think these cars are very close. These are two of the fastest sedans in the world and it's just crazy that you get this amount of power in a luxury car i mean he has carbon bucket seats let me just show you guys look at these seats carbon fiber so if you want something that's as fast as a hellcat but you want the luxurious part of it like alcantara steering wheel alcantara headliner all that shit, you get one of these but you're gonna pay a lot more for one of these these are going for like 110 if you want it used and you don't want to wait eight nine months you're gonna pay like 140 because he was offered about that much for a used cts5 but if you want something that's just straight muscle then you would go with this i would say these are pretty close in performance but again you're getting muscle here and you're getting luxury and performance with that and also be sure to follow the owner so you can see the build on this car he will have the first corsa exhaust in the country so corsa is going to be working with him to put the exhaust and then the intake so if you want to keep up with the cts 5v blackwing build definitely follow him on instagram there isn't that many people that have this so he's one of the first ones in the city so make sure to check him out so we're gonna head out now and say bye to him and we're gonna go home 
and pick up the GT500 and then pick up Nick. Well, I think I might pick up Nick before I pick up the GT500. But we're gonna head out with some friends and just cruise around and enjoy our time. I'm gonna bring you guys with us for a little bit just to show you guys what we do. But I hope you guys enjoyed those races. That was actually really, really good. That was the first race with the Hellcat, and I think that was the perfect way to kickstart the racing with the Hellcat. You know what I saw on Instagram today? What? The friend that brings you the most peace, the one that deserves the time. What's up, and my I see, boy? I see my boy so, with the smile. So that's me? I yeah. bring you the most peace? Uh, what? Up there, up there. Up there, up there. Ron's a good friend to have, guys. Lord. I swear, this, this guy's had my back. Thank you, my boy. I'm Thank not even going to let you talk. I got to kind of show these boys what you're all yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you guys know, you know I'm not a good guy according to you guys. But anyways, we're going to go home, drop the Hellcat, because we're going to take the GT500 out. What about Martin? I don't know. I want to take the GT500 out. Why don't we take, take both out? I'll put gas. This guy, man. This guy, man. Whatever. I know gas is what's going to fuck No, you I don't care about gas, but I mean, I, I just don't. I Whatever. We'll take whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right, guys. We're taking both of the cars out, I guess, now. <laughs> So I'm gonna be taking the GT500 out. Nick is gonna be driving the Hellcat. The TRX is just gonna stay here. And Marin also is coming with us. He left his bike right there. And before we pop out, we gotta get these babies cleaned. So we're gonna go through a touchless car wash real quick and just clean them up a little bit. So we got both of the cars cleaned and now we are all ready to roll. Oh my God, look at this. We got Aventador SV. <laughs> to have a Ventador SV in that highlighter green. Okay, my turn. So we're pulling up here. We got a GT500, a Hellcat. There's a Lambo right there. There's a green Z06 right there. And then there's that. We got a 570 here. And we got a green Hellcat. The OG green. The purple vinyl, and we got my boy Hishi. What's up, my baby? Up, baby? Guys, up? hit the Burst link in the out. description and go subscribe to his ass and beg him to post content. Come on, man, you're bullshit. This guy has like nine the weather, more cars. The weather just broke. We're out here. Look at what he has. We're he just here. picked this bad boy up and he still doesn't make content. And well, the cops are kicking us out now. Yeah.